Mike Vandermoss. He's Rob Domofsky. We're talking about the Packers by position in advance of the NFL draft. Rob, we look at tight ends today. Jermichael Finley is back. Uh, a lot of reports in the offseason that he wasn't going to be. Much ado about nothing. But I do maintain that this is going to be his last year with the Packers, that they won't uh, extend his contract or give him a new one. I wonder if we'd go back to the tape from two years ago before he signed this latest contract, if he might have said <laughs> the same thing. However, there, there was reason to think that then. There's still reason to think that now. It's a lot of money for a guy who has probably not lived up to his potential. He had that great stretch at the end of, I believe it was 2009, uh, where he was just looked like he was going to take off and be the next huge playmaking tight end in the NFL, and that hasn't quite been the case. However, if he produces like he did the last half of last season, I'm not so sure that this is the end for him, but they definitely need to plan for depth at that position. So as you look at that, uh, roster of tight ends. Do you see uh, DJ Williams emerging as maybe an impact player uh, in the future? I think they think that maybe Andrew Corliss could be that also, and maybe even more so than DJ Williams. They do need better blocking out of the tight end position, and uh, McCarthy had mentioned that recently where he said we need to get a, a 250, 260-pound guy that we can put on the line of scrimmage and block because, I mean, let's face it, as talented as Finley is, um, he may try to block, but he's, he's not. that's not his game, and he's not effective. Then they lose Tom Crabtree, who was probably their best in-line blocker. So they need to get back to that. For Rob, I'm Mike. We're out.